everyone, I hope you're having a lovely week so far. I'm actually filming this on Monday. I was so busy over the weekend, I didn't get a chance to pick up my vlogging camera. So this week I'll just be sharing a bit of what I get up to during the week with you all. And to start off, I wanted to just also say thank you so much for all of your lovely comments on my last vlog. It was so nice of you to share all of your experiences with injury and exercise um, on the comments on that video and it was really lovely of you all to be so supportive. I really appreciated it. And it was also really interesting for me to read about some of the things that you wanted me to film. And today I'm really pleased that I'm going to be able to answer Gina's question because she asked me what are some of the things that I keep in my handbag and I can't wait to share that with you and this is perfect timing too because I've got a really exciting unboxing to share with you, my first YouTube unboxing, which I didn't even realise was a thing, but apparently it is. <laughs> and I'm really excited to share this with you. I've got big box here that I've been resisting getting into, uh, and I can't wait to do it with you, because the New York brand Teddy Blake got in touch with me a little while ago and they asked if I would like one of their handbags in, in exchange for an honest review on YouTube. And I really actually liked the ethos of the brand. I had a look at their website and what their sort of slogan is, is fashion at a fraction. And I really liked that. I myself believe in always buying the best quality that I can afford. And Teddy Blake New York is all about democratising the fashion industry and especially the luxury leather handbag industry. And they offer the same in terms of quality of leather and style and craftsmanship that you get from real luxury handbag designers, but they offer it at a fraction of the price. So this sounded really interesting to me, and I actually really need a new handbag, <laughs> as you'll be able to see when I do my swap over, because I'll share with you what's in my old handbag and what I've been using for years, <laughs> and I'll swap into my new handbag. And I've gone for a different colour, but a really classic colour. I went for a camel brown handbag. And I'm really excited to get into it because I'm always a bit nervous when I order online. Will it look the same when it gets here? The quality looked really good and Teddy Blake is meant to be all about great craftsmanship, really good quality in terms of the leather, which is all made in Italy, it's all Italian leather, as well as the sort of classic style of their bags, they're meant to be really timeless, and yes, the stitching is all meant to be good quality, so let's have a look and see, and hopefully this will be lovely, and hopefully I'll be really happy with the colour that I've chosen. Oh. It's a really big box. I'll move over a bit. It says Teddy Blake New York designer handbags made in Italy, luxury leather. Each Teddy Blake handbag has been made with you in mind to be an extension of your unique style and flatter your every fashion choice. Well, if you've been following me for a while, you'll know that I don't do a lot of sort of fashion brand collaborations because I do have a very sort of particular style. I have a really quite a classic style, I think, and I look for very classic shapes and colors in what I like, especially with that accessories. But I thought that Teddy Blake really looked like my style. So I'm going to unwrap this. Let's see, I'm so excited. It's been so long since I actually bought a new handbag or anything fashion, I think with all the lockdowns. I just haven't been buying that kind of thing, so this is actually really exciting for me. Let's see. I really like things that come in their own little protective bag, cloth bag. I think that's really nice because that will help me protect the bag. So let's see. Wow, look at that. Oh, I'm 
so pleased. This is exactly the colour that I wanted and it looks just like it did online. I'm so happy with that. I really wanted a true camel brown and this bag, I think it's called the Ava Croco 14 inch bag. So it's this um, crocodile style finish to the leather which I really liked and it was in this style that they had this really rich camel brown. Let me show you. I love the shine to it, that's so nice. But I wanted this real richness to the colour and this one online looks like it had it and it does. I am so happy with that because I haven't ever, I don't think, or not for years, had a camel brown bag. And I've been wanting one for ages because I think, especially going into spring and summer, it's such a classic colour. I normally choose black in the winter, but I really wanted another sort of neutral choice. And I thought this looked lovely. It feels so nice too. I mean, who doesn't love Italian leather? I definitely do. And this leather looks really, really nice. It feels great. It also feels like it should be quite well wearing. I think they make the leather to be as enduring as possible. And this is partly why I also went with the Croco finish as well, was because I thought it just looked quite sturdy. It feels really, really nice. I love the designs to their bags. You can see this one is really classic looking. I thought again with the Croco style, it was a little bit vintage inspired as well which I really liked but generally I just love really timeless shapes and colours to the bags that I choose and I loved the shape on this one let's open it up so I think these flaps these just go up and oh there's a popper that's nice I didn't know there was a popper that's good let me get the paper out I'm so pleased I went for quite a big size actually because I do carry a lot in my bags. And there's a longer strap as well, that's really nice. Oh, it's got a really nice finish. I don't know if you can see that, but it's got like a lovely suede, suede finish on the inside, which is so nice. Mm, I do like that smell of the leather. And there's a zip pocket, which is really handy. I always like to have a zip pocket on the inside as well. And then there's, there's another pocket too, just below the zip. That's just an open one. But that's really nice. I think from living in London, I like bags that are really secure. So I would never have just an open top bag, for instance. That's just an absolute no-no if you're a Londoner. <laughs> so I like bags that have zip pockets on the inside that definitely close properly on the outside. I'll just close it up again because that way you just feel nice and secure, which is good. And that's really, I, I like that detail actually. The metal work on the bag is really nice. I went for gold too because I love gold. I mean, if you notice, I only ever wear gold jewellery and I really like gold detailing. And I just think it looks so classic somehow and really elegant. But this has such a luxurious feel to it, I have to say. I think that this looks so stylish. It looks like a proper designer handbag, certainly in terms of the quality and the level of detail on this. I like all of the sort of metal work on the bag. That's nice that that will elevate it. Oh, there's a zip at the back as well, which is good, handy for keeping things like an Oyster card or something like that in it when I go to London. And this is just, I think this is going to be such a great bag. I also like that their um, branding isn't too obvious. It's quite discreet on the bag. They've got Teddy Blake, New York at the bottom, 
and then just on the back here but on the front that's really just in very like discreet small lettering which I like because I like branding to be discreet I think that just looks so luxurious I really like it and I do love the ideology behind it that even sort of high-end luxurious accessories don't have to cost an absolute fortune that's so important and I mean I always do believe in buying the best in terms of what I can afford but the thing that matters to me the most is always the quality so to feel that you are getting genuine Italian leather and that kind of expertise in the craftsmanship is really important to me but Teddy Blake have kindly offered my followers um, a discount and I will also link to what I get in the description box down below I'll link to this bag but you can also check out the website because there are so many styles and they add new styles all the time as well I loved this really classic look but I was also really tempted to some slightly less traditional ones like there's a beautiful pink bag and things like that on there I went for really classic but if you want something a bit different then they've got loads of choice so I would definitely recommend checking out the website but I'm so happy with this it's really me it's really my style and it just feels oh I can't wait I can't wait when we can finally go places I can't wait to bring this with me but let me show you what I'm going to put into it what I always keep in my handbag I'll just grab my old one and I'll do the swap over Currently, you can enjoy up to 60% off Teddy Blake handbags. Use the code TBMIRANDA20 for an extra $20 off. See the description box under this video for links to shop and for the discount code. Okay, so let me show you my old handbag, <laughs> which you can see is like looking quite scuffed up and a bit worn I have had it for years oh my goodness it's so heavy <laughs> too I do like a big bag like I said because I tend to I have to carry so much with me whenever I'm going somewhere because I, I have to carry two cameras and my phone and well a lot so let's see how it does the swap over <laughs> to my shiny new bag <laughs> so what do I have in here yes okay so my camera this is a big one i use the olympus pen f camera which i absolutely love and this is what i do most of my photography with so when i'm going somewhere and you know for bringing this with me i'm really picturing myself going into london again something like that taking the train down to london i want to be able to have a lot with me so i will definitely need my olympus camera so let's get that in here i chose the biggest style i chose the 14 inch in the avo croco style because i wanted it to hopefully fit everything that i need it to fit so testing this together camera and we go great then what else do I have oh yeah this bag didn't have a zip um, pocket actually I'm really glad that this one does but it just had a little open pocket and in it what do I have I've got pen fountain pen of course because I love to use a fountain pen and this is my gold Caran dash pen that I adore I've got my loyalty card to the Little Ripon bookshop, <laughs> which is a local bookshop I like to support, but I used up my last one and it was right before lockdown, so I haven't been able to get any more um, on this one yet. And then I've got a few lipsticks. This is actually a perfume. This is Coco Mademoiselle, I think. Yeah, it is, which is one of my favourite Chanel ones. And this is like a little travel one which is really handy so I love that I'm going to put this in the little zipper bit 
yeah, two favourite lipstick brands of mine. Chanel. I love Chanel makeup. My great uncle used to work for Chanel. So I've always been a big Chanel fan. And I was lucky when I was young, he would get me so much Chanel stuff because he got a lot um, really discounted and for free as a staff member. So I've always been a fan of Chanel. And then I also love Bare Minerals. Their makeup is so nice. And I've got a little lipstick. Just a sort of neutral one. If I need to touch up or <laughs> look a bit more glamorous. And I've got some lipsticks on me. So I'm going to pop those things in my little pocket. Actually, it's quite a big pocket. It's quite deep, which is really nice. I've got a bookmark, <laughs> of course. Oh, I have my Dawn Books cloth bag because I always keep a cloth bag in my bag so that if I go grocery shopping or any kind of shopping really I don't need to buy a bag or take a bag I have a little one with me always and pop that in there little scarf which I always tend to throw a scarf in in case I feel a bit cold and or I've forgotten a scarf which I often do so I've got a little scarf to go in there and my iPhone so I'm going to put that in the pocket bit too I'm going to put it in the open pocket one just in there I've got a hanky because I do like to feel elegant and I have little hankies I do also have tissues <laughs> if I actually like have a streaming nose or something don't want to use this but if it's just for something sort of delicate, <laughs> then I like to pull out a hanky. It always makes you feel very elegant. Or to be able to offer someone a hanky, that always makes you feel elegant. I think I'll put that in the open pocket too. Little hairbrush. Always a necessity. Because <laughs> my hair can just go wild. So in here I have all of my essentials of this time so i have a fabric mask i have a disposable sort of well more disposable mask i keep two masks in, on me in case i forget one and i've got some plastic gloves um, that are disposable as well if i need them for any reason while i'm out and about so that's my little important kit that i keep on me wallet two little wallets actually this this has like um discount sort of cards and like things like that generally in it and then this is what i keep all of my money and important bits and bobs in so i'll pop those in dark glasses because i am forever hopeful and when i want to feel like i'm going to do my best to look like audrey Hepburn those come out <laughs> when I want my holly go lightly breakfast at Tiffany's moment gloves need those at the moment and in here this is another little important kit so I have things like proper tissues in here I have medicine if I need some more lipsticks I should probably have fewer lipsticks in here another Chanel and then um, a Chantecai one of my other favorite makeup brands little q-tips which are essential especially right now because I got a new um, mascara Maybelline mascara and I really don't like it it goes everywhere half the time I film and I look at it afterwards I think my mascara's like halfway down my face it's so annoying I can't put it on on my under lashes at all so I need a new mascara little compact this Estee Lauder one which I really like it's the Libra let me see if you can see it Libra horoscope because I am a Libra and I also have a scrunchie 
I have spare contact lenses. You might not know this about me, but I have awful eyesight. I mean, absolutely appalling to the extent that if I, if for some reason one of my contacts came out when I was like in downtown London or anywhere, I wouldn't be able to see anything. I wouldn't be able to see like train times or yeah, anything. So I keep spare contacts on me always because without my contacts, I am blind essentially. Um, so I hate to not have spares. I've got some band-aids and I've got a lip balm that my dad gave me actually when I was in New York a couple of summers ago. <laughs> so it's lasting pretty well. I don't really know this make, but what I normally get is um, Burt's Bees. I really like their lip balms as well. I always have some kind of lip balms because my lips get really dry. So that's that little essential kit in here. Pop that in as well. You see why I need a big bag? <laughs> but I don't know how people manage with just tiny little handbags. I'm not that kind of girl. <laughs> And then, I mean, of course, a book. That's a bookmark too. And I actually, I want to test with this bag if it will fit. I've got a book in this bag. I wanted to check if it will fit like a hard bag as well. Because I'm a bit of a Rory Gilmer when it comes to packing my books. Okay, so I've got the book in here. Still closing, this is all good. Let's see if it will fit a hard back. It's quite a slim hard back, but still. Let's see if I can get that in there. Oh yeah, I can. That's all fitting really well. Very pleased. And what oh, just this. I always have this actually in my bag. It's my Persephone books list. So the circled ones, I think the ones I don't have yet and I want to get. And then ticks the ones I do have. Yeah, so I've ticked the ones I do have. And then of the ones I don't have, I've circled the ones I want to get most urgently. I think I need to update this a little bit though. I think I actually have got some of these now. But yes, my little Persephone list. <laughs> so I always seem to wind up going into Persephone books when I'm in London and I can't remember which ones I have. So I've just started keeping this in my handbag always and that will go my little zipper part. And I think, yeah, I think that's everything. So, Goodbye to this one, at least for now. And hello, my new one. <laughs> Just close this up again. So I was worried this would be a little bit tricky how you close it, but actually you just push it down and it locks, which is really handy and you just pop those over. So that is fine. And look, it all fit in. I'm so happy and it looks so much smarter. That other bag like bulged <laughs> out where everything was, but this is actually, it just looks really smooth and elegant. And, oh, I'm forgetting to show you. It also comes with a strap, which is really good because often when I'm out and about, I like to be hands-free, especially when I'm taking photos or if I'm filming, then I don't want to be carrying a handbag at the same time. Oh, and it also has a little lock that you can put on it as well. The keys are in there, and then a little lock, which is quite elegant looking. And then there's a long strap, which is really nice. And I like these studs, so it looks like you know, you can adjust the length of the strap too, which is nice. I'm so short that I never need to make a strap longer, let's say that. Um, I'll clip this on. 
There we go. That looks so nice. I'm so happy. Let's see. Yeah, that's really nice. Good to have my hands free with it and that will be perfect. I like it either way, but it's always so handy to have the option of putting the strap on. I'm so, so pleased. Thank you so much to Teddy Blake. And I hope that you found this interesting too in terms of what I keep in my handbag. But also I'm just genuinely happy to be sharing this brand with you because I'm honestly really impressed by the handbag. I think it looks lovely and it's really classic, really elegant looking. So I definitely recommend checking out the website and yeah I'm really really pleased just need to uh, be able to take it more places now but we'll go out for our walk anyway which will be lovely there are so many snowdrops out they're so pretty it's lovely and can I say that bag is très élégant <laughs> thank you I knew you'd like it too it's lovely I know I'm, so, I'm really genuinely so pleased with it I think it looks so stylish. Oh, it certainly does. It really, it really is a classic. Yeah, exactly. I think really timeless. It's so nice having a bit of sunshine. Well, especially because it's meant to snow. I know. <laughs> tomorrow, so you've got to enjoy today. Yeah. But all these snowdrops. They're just magical. beautiful. Yes. if you can see the robin on the tree <laughs> they're all enjoying I just made new suet puddings for them and all of the birds are out enjoying them today which is lovely It's lovely to see all these early signs of spring everywhere. I Isn't it magical? Are, are coming. They almost look like figs. figs. Yeah, yes. I was going to say figs, but I don't know if that's right. They look beautiful, and don't they? The snowdrops that are out and the heliopause. It really does actually feel like spring is starting to come today, which is probably ironic because we'll be hit with snow <laughs> <laughs> tomorrow. But today, it's I'm a beautiful, the yes, <laughs> spring in the air. Yes, it's lovely. Hello everyone, it is now Tuesday afternoon, it's about half past three. I've got the fire crackling behind me, as you can see, which is lovely because it snowed today. It's starting to melt a little bit now, but it's been very cold today. And mum and I have had a really busy morning. I've been doing a lot of admin, dealing with emails and planning content, all that sort of thing. And we haven't really been able to appreciate the snow and appreciate feeling warm and cosy indoors. So I've said let's have a hygge 
books and buns afternoon so from now we're taking the rest of the day off and we're going to get really cozy really in the spirit of hygge which i love and books and buns are involved let me tell you how i get cozy on a winter afternoon like today first of all i love to light a roaring fire to warm up the kitchen on a cold afternoon Next, I load up a tea tray. Cinnamon buns are suitably hygge with steaming cups of hot chocolate and coffee for us both. For me, getting hygge means curling up with some good reading material. I like to bring together some magazines, journals and books to browse. Our wool and cashmere blankets are brought out from the blanket box so we can wrap ourselves up and feel extra snug. Hygge is a Danish word that, according to the Little Book of Hygge, has been translated as everything from coziness of the soul to taking pleasure from the presence of soothing things and even cocoa by candlelight. It's definitely everything that I enjoy. So here I am with Mum. Hello. Getting ready to enjoy our Hygge Books and Buns afternoon. It sounds like <laughs> such a fabulous idea. Well done. <laughs> well, well done you for always having some cinnamon rolls in the freezer. Yes. I think that's what the best mums do <laughs> for sure. <laughs> well, I always make a batch and then freeze half of them. Because, yes. I mean, even if you give some away, it makes quite a lot, doesn't it? Yes, so. it does. Yeah. This is perfect. I've got my hot chocolate. Oh, and you've got your little chocolate spoon I there, know. haven't you? To I've try got, it out. I've got a coffee. Yes, you're more of a coffee. Yes. Than a you. Especially with cinnamon bun. <laughs> yeah. Not on fly. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, lovely. Well, this is a nice way to celebrate Candlemas Day. I think as well. it's very appropriate. And it's lovely to have a, a hygge home and a lovely moment together. I think it's it really is, nice. Isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. To have a bit of relaxation. I time. think everybody does right now. Yes, yeah. definitely. Yeah. And on a snowy day, it's so nice to sit here by candlelight yes. and enjoy. Some cozy treats. Exactly. We've both to... got our cozy jumpers on. Yes, it's very <laughs> cold, actually. <laughs> yes. mm. Mm. I do like a nice hot chocolate. <laughs> I know. It's always so nice, especially when it's it chilly out. And yes, you went exactly. and got the logs, so you got really cold. So. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> but this is lovely and cozy. Mm. Mm. Have a bit of a cinnamon bun too. Oh, yeah, I will. Mm. Lovely. So we just warmed these through. The yes. Oven. Yes. They mm. don't take very long even from frozen, do they? Mm -mm. Mm. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> oh. oh, you've got the crumbs. Mm. Thank you. <laughs> oh. This is lovely. And um, we've each got a book to read. We have something that's perfect for getting cosy. Well, we've got a selection of magazines as yes, well. Because we always love we a want magazine. To have a book. We do. Which one have you chosen? Right, I've chosen um, Celestine Voices from a French Village by Gillian Tyndall. And um, I read this years and years ago, but I haven't read it since. I just really want to go back and she discovers a, a cache of um, letters when she moves into a house of, in France. Oh, um, what, is it a real story? Like, oh, it's a true story, of, yes, oh, true wow. story. And it's, she says um, she discovers this cache of tightly folded letters in a deserted house in central France, recently emptied of 150 years of a family's possessions. Oh. She uncovered the obscure and moving life of one woman, Celestine Chomet, and this is her original, brilliant re recreation, recreation of the vanished world of a French village. Mm. 
So I'm really curious to read it again, mm -hmm. you know. Um, I don't remember it very well. I just remember I really enjoyed it. Mm. And I found this tatty old paperback and thought, oh, I must reread that. Well, and it's rather nice to be transported to France. Yes, <laughs> probably somewhere a lot <laughs> warmer than this. <laughs> yes, too. <laughs> I've got the what new got? Laura Purcell book oh, yes. called yes. The Shape of Darkness. And I'm a big fan of Laura Purcell. I got you into reading her you books did, as well. You did. I and really enjoyed them. Yeah, she does yeah. gothic really well, doesn't yeah, she? she does. They're really scary. And I actually. feel like something that will just be nice to curl up yeah. with. I'm going to get a blanket in a minute too. Oh, good idea. <laughs> and I'm going to curl up with this and just lose myself in the pages. Yeah. She always writes a very good plot like it keeps it's gripping you, yeah really it's a page grip. turner isn't it this one is set in bath in the victorian times i remember when you interviewed her yeah, she, she talked about, about this one it. Yes. Yes. yes and i think it's about a spiritualist and some of her clients start dying mysteriously oh. <laughs> so oh. it sounds spooky already but just the sort of book i think Reading it with the candles lit and everything. It's, it's really scissors, is it? On the cover, and like they, they yes. cut a silhouette. Is that right? Yes, that's right. Oh yes, I think she's maybe she's not a spiritualist. She's a silhouette artist. Um. Oh, that's it. Yes, she's at. You're right. She's a silhouette artist, okay. but she gets involved with some kind of um a child spirit medium. Whoop. <laughs> yes, called Pearl. So, yes, she's her clients. I think that she does the silhouettes of get killed or something. So wow. she approaches the spiritualist to help find her what's going find on. out what's going on. But that's so interesting because um, I've always been quite interested in silhouette artists yes, as well. Yes. It was so popular at that time. So. Yeah. It's quite interesting, isn't it? And I don't know where the, the scissors will come in. <laughs> well, Bill, that's a bit sinister. I'm looking forward to it. Yes, it looks like a, a really good read and yes. one that you'll get into too. Yeah. So that'd be brilliant. Yes, so perfect. I'm going to get our blankets, get reading and enjoy a lovely, cosy afternoon. But thank you so much for watching my channel, as always. I do hope you enjoyed this vlog, and I'll be back again with another video very soon. So, see you then.